Hi, it's Anika from Living for Later. Let's talk about Joshua chapter 5. Um, we see in this chapter, this is right before the children of Israel um, go and conquer Jericho. And the Lord tells Joshua to make a flint knife and to circumcise the men. And the reason why is um, we know the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. And at the time, it was the second generation that Joshua is now um, with. And we know the first generation, they died off because of their disobedience and their murmuring and complaining. So it's now the second generation who is on the verge of possessing Jericho, the entry point to the promised land. So um, we see that Joshua obeys the Lord and he has the children of Israel circumcised. And, you know, let's fast forward to the New Testament. We know that the Lord is no longer requiring a circumcision of the skin, but more the circumcision of the heart. But the scripture that really um, got me was Joshua 5, verse 9, where it says, Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today, I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. And I love the way the New Living Translation gives it. Then the Lord said to Joshua, today I have rolled away the shame of your slavery in Egypt. So that place has been called Gilgal to this day. And this is just really super encouraging to me because we know that Egypt um, represents just the world. And many of us have been held captive um, to just just the world. We, we, we've um, just been in slavery. We've been driven by sin. But when we come to the Lord and allow him to circumcise our hearts, he lifts the shame of slavery, right? No longer do we have to walk around in condemnation and shame because we now come to the Lord and we, we've given our lives to him and we acknowledge him as Lord. He's saying, just like he said to Joshua, hey, I have rolled away the stone of slavery. No longer the shame that comes with uh, slavery. No longer do you have to be bound by your past mistakes. No longer do you have to be bound by generational curses. No longer do you have to be bound by the death that was spoken over you when you were in slavery. You're now in my camp. And this is just so amazing because the Lord says this to them right before they go and possess Jericho. And now all of us, we have, and like I said, Jer Jericho was um, the entry point, right? To the promised land, to what God had promised. This was the first place that they conquered. And I think about it because God has made all of us some awesome promises right and once we escape from slavery once we um break free from the devil's grip it's time for us now to possess the things that god has given us i want my milk and honey not just in the sweet by and by when i go to be with jesus but now god has promised me prosperity now and when i speak of prosperity i love the way my pastor breaks it down it's not just speaking of financial pro prosperity Prosperity. It's speaking about prospering um, in my health, prospering in my mind, prospering in my spirit, right? It's a holistic thing. It's not just about money. Sometimes we totally miss it. So I just want to encourage you today to just recognize that you are now free, right? God has rolled away that stone of slavery. Walk in the liberty that he has given you as you have allowed him to circumcise your heart. You go and get those promises. Be blessed.